Reporter Kate Smith has been stationed at Erlinger Hospital all day where many of those children are now being treated. Kate, what can you tell us? Well, Kelly, it was a very emotional day here at Erlinger as the ambulances dropped off the victims. It was a code triage at the hospital, meaning multiple traumas and all hands on deck. One by one, ambulances rushed to Erlinger Medical Center. Curtains draped the entrance to the ER while police stood by. As families gathered outside, holding on to one another, praying for a miracle. These are families that don't know the status of many of their children. Um, there are families that are worried about their children. Medical staff waited at the door, ready to treat the injured children. First responders stayed to comfort broken-hearted families. To every police officer, firefighter, and paramedic's worst nightmare, but it is also the reason that we do this, and it's the reason we train. One of the six killed died at the hospital, a heartbreaking reality for the Chattanooga community. Send them off to school. We don't know whether we'll see them again. We need to love them, hug them, not just the school, anywhere. Now the medical team turns to taking care of the children who remain in the hospital and their families. Taking care of the children that are injured is our number one priority. Taking care of the families who are looking for, caring for, and grieving for children is our second priority. A tragedy too difficult to believe as a community tries to make sense of six lives lost too soon. Every public safety official's absolute worst nightmare, uh, but that is nothing in comparison to the nightmare that families and friends and our community is going through. The conditions of the other children is so unclear at this time. Our deepest thoughts and prayers go out to the families affected. For now, I'm live in Chattanooga. Kate Smith, Channel 3. Kate, thank you.